I knew there was a reason I should be scared of you. Why? Because why are you looking at me like that? Smack. Whoa. Ow. I'm slammed against the locker. Whoa. Bum 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 <laughs> Hi and I'm back with stuck in a under a visual novel. Like wow, this is really loud in my ears right now. Hold up. Am I obsessed with this game? I might be a little bit obsessed with this game. Anyway, I'm going to cheat. Um I'm put part three. I think it says that we're they're just gonna put us at base points oh snap i just <laughs> i just resized this thing i forgot i wasn't in full screen to begin with so this is the official game now the official game is out so if you uh want to see what happened what the heck happened before this you can go to my playlist and look at the other videos or you could simply just play the game yourself. I think how many times you died factors into what ending you get. And I died like six times. But since I put the cheat in, I, like, I don't know if this actually used my previous data or not. <laughs> I don't think it is, but we'll see. <laughs> but I'm just gonna assume in this playthrough, I haven't died at all. Okay. We're gonna act like all those deaths I experienced didn't happen. I sit in the kitchen, tapping my foot on the floor of tiles as much as I, a little, as I much on cereal. My brother left me a text message saying he'll be out with friends today and left before I woke up. As I chew on the edge, edge of my spoon, I think back to the messages Leon and Vincent left me. Today's February 15th. I survived until the end of the game. Now what? If I remember correctly, all the endings were where the protagonist survived. There was a time skip for a few months or years to briefly wrap up the full story. Both of them said they went to therapy. Huh? That certainly never happened in the game. I can't let my guard down yet. It's so quiet today. It makes me anxious. Maybe I can find a book to read or something. Um, well? Hey. What the hell? Why am I being prompted? Do I bother questioning anything anymore? Um, I I don't know. Let me see my saves are still on here. Yeah, they are. But I'm just gonna go. I don't even know if I should save over these. <laughs> I'm gonna just go to page three. Let's go, let's try to remember like this is page three. I feel like looking for one of my brother's room is weird, but I kind of want to do that. Because what if I find something? Wait. But I think my suspicion levels matter as well. Who cares? I'm going to go be nosy. I've never been in here. Is there some special reason? Oh, it's nice. Okay. A medium-sized room opens up in front of me. There's a bed, a table, a wardrobe, a shelf. A little messy on his desk, but otherwise things are surprisingly neat. With all that buildup, I thought it would be abnormal. I make my way to his bookshelf. There certainly are a lot of interesting books here. How to summon the devil? Oh no, a collection of real cryptic photos. A month as an alien prisoner? I'm going to find some fan fiction to read. I step away from the bookshelf and head toward the door. As I turn away, a purple and yellow teddy bear on his bed catches my eye. Huh? Hmm. I don't know what drew my eyes to it. In the end, I take a nap for a few hours. And when I wake, the sky is already dark. Did you take this teddy bear out the room? Big bro, I'm back. Welcome home. Did you go in my into my room? Huh? Huh? Where did that come from? No. Why would I? OK. 
okay. <laughs> oh, honestly, since I saw what I wanted to see, I'm gonna low back now. Because that wasn't very interesting. <laughs> Oh, dang, did I just save over for that? I'm so dumb. It's too late. <laughs> I just saved instead of load it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. Whatever, I guess it was meant to be. Did you stay home the whole day? Yeah, it was a nice day off. <laughs> oh great, I'm fine. I'm glad you finally caught up with all your schoolwork. Schoolwork? No. I knew I forgot something. Uh, I still have a bit more to do. Can you order dinner tonight, little bro? Uh, sure. Great, let me know when it arrives. I've got to finish my math homework. <laughs> I can't believe I really just decided to be nosy and go in his room. I don't even know what that decision probably cost me, bro. The next few days pass by uneventfully. Waking up, failing at making breakfast, barely catching a train, going to class. It's like a regular high school life again. So much that I let my car down in a course. Uh? Excuse me? I opened the door into ah! Leon? Hey, why do you have blood on your face? What did you do, Leon? Oh... Uh, I... What? You... You're covered in blood! He gasps and looks at himself like he just realized he's soaked in red. Ah, uh, I... Uh, this isn't... I didn't hurt anyone. Then, then why are you covered in blood? Much... Oh my gosh, Leon... I thought you said he was going to therapy. I might have punched one or two people. Or ten. Can I come in? You don't look well. Aww. Why did my brother have to leave for school early on the one day a crisis happens? I take a deep breath and debate on harm what to say. But instead I feel panic. I feel the panic build up as my mind races between my options. I can't possibly let him in, but if I tell him no, will he get violent? He's covered in blood for crying out loud. What's he even doing here? I thought he said he went to therapy. I didn't call back or message once. Well, I guess it wouldn't last that long. Cause what, it's been like weeks? I don't, I don't know how long you stay in places like that. Grr. I flinch as Leon's face turns red and he gives me a sheepish smile. Bro, what? And, uh, can I have some food? Bro, what? I, I don't have the strength for this. Uh, okay, come, come on in. Leon sits nervously at the kitchen table as I spread butter on a piece of toast. No. No way am I letting him hold a knife. I keep my eyes on my task, mainly to avoid his gaze, which is burning into me. Finally, I can't. Why was he punching people? Like, is he gonna explain that? <laughs> oh, I can't add any more butter to the toast and just hand him a slice. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Huh? So what? Are they starving you over there? Uh, no. I get enough to eat, but I do miss eating with people. With you. Didn't you say you're gonna leave me alone until you get better? Or, would, or did Vincent say that? I'm pretty sure both of them said that somewhere along the lines of that. I mean, I feel a tug at my heart. <sighs> Damn it, stop looking so dejected. You almost appear harmless. How's therapy going? I ask it as a casual question while I continue prepping more toast for him, but Leon perks up. Oh. About that, actually, it's going pretty well. 
I stayed away from you for three days. It's been th th three days? Three days. Leon, baby, you gotta do better than that. Come on now. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> I'll work towards five days after today. Well, you know what? Progress is progress, Leon. So, you know, it is what it is. But what did you do? Escape the psych ward? Like, bro, what is happening? Should I just prepare breakfast for him again in six days? We fall into an awkward silence that I don't bother to break. Hey, do you hate me? Hey. What? O of course not. I hope I answered that on impulse. Despite the obvious panic on my face, his eyes light up with hope. Aww. I can't take that back now. It'll feel like bullying. <laughs> what are you going to say? Actually, I do hate you. Like, what? What were you going to say? Besides, I don't. Besides, hate is a strong word. If I hated him for the things he's done, what would that make me? Uh, someone who's been through awful things? <laughs> A hypocrite? How? Thanks. <laughs> Even if it's not true, thanks for saying so. If you thought that I hated you, why would you even come towards me, bro? Why would you even want to be around me if you possibly think I hate you? I mean, because that's just not something I would do. Like, if I think someone hates me, like, genuinely, I'm not finna want to be around them. But, you know, that's where um certain um, issues <laughs> come in. Did you come here just to ask that? Uh, partially. Seriously? Yeah, I, I had time to think about you and me and everything that happened. Mm -hmm. He trails off his, as he stares at his hands resting on the tabletop. After everything, I deserve to be hated by you, don't I? But thanks for saying you don't. <sighs> Do you want more toast? Can I get one more slice? I nod. He's so cute, though. Oh my gosh. It's like a little puppy dog. That gets very, very violent and scary. <laughs> I nod and pull another piece of bread from the loaf before sticking it in, in the toaster. The doctors treated me said I should take some medicine. Probably should. I told them no a few days ago, but they're insisting on it now. Do you think I should take it? Yeah, I huh? do. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Come on, Leon, don't do this. I don't know, I just thought, well, I'm scared. What if I'm no longer the person I was before? I mean, if you didn't like the person you were before, I think taking some meds would probably help would it not not that it, it changes your personality anyway it changes your behaviors your behaviors are not your personality you know what if i it takes a breath i don't want to forget how much you mean you think you think that you're taking medicine is going to make you not care about me anymore Cause I'm like, if that's the case, that's probably what needs to happen. <laughs> that means she has some sort of unhealthy attachment to me, which, I mean, he clearly does. <laughs> Leon. Do I have to? Damn it, enough with the heart string pulling. Well, I honestly, I don't want him to make the decision because of me. I would tell him to take the medicine. But... I think I'm going to say I can't answer for him. Should I save right now? Something's telling me don't save right now, so I'm not going to. Look, this is, you know, I'm not even going to load or save anymore. So whatever happens, happens. And whatever ending I get is the ending I get. 
but yeah I, you had to make that choice for yourself and that and for real though you can't be taking medicine because i told you to right no matter how charming it, it is that he thinks of me first and foremost i can't decide this for him i can't be a scapegoat for his decisions exactly no. i can't answer that for you leon you are your own person. Don't make me the reason for who you are. Exactly. Okay. I understand. I'm sure it's not what he wants to hear, but going to therapy isn't about hearing what we want to hear. Leon eats the last piece of toast and heads out again, promising he won't be back until he's actually better. The conversation was less than 30 minutes long, but I'm exhausted. Did he really come here just to have breakfast? <sighs> Sitting on the couch, I lean back and close my eyes. Think you should take the medicine. But that's kind of... Is that... Is, is what I'm really... Is what I'm doing really not enough? Do I have to? The decision is yours, but I highly recommend it. All right. But in the end, it didn't help, did it? I still made so many mistakes, and in the end... I just stopped taking them, and nothing had changed. I will say that, uh... I have never been in therapy. I've never had to take any medicines or anything, but... From people's experiences and things that I know and learned, they do be, like, just wanting to um mis misdiagnose people and therefore prescribe them things they don't actually need and that's why a lot of times the medication doesn't help now sometimes it, it do it, it like the things okay sometimes they are correctly diagnosed but the medication is just isn't working i think but i think that's mostly like an adhd thing i don't know about mood and personality disorders you know i don't know if you can take the medication for that and it not like work at all but i just know that's a more common with like people that have been misdiagnosed or if they have another disorder going on that they missed and it might be not helping that one but yeah hmm. i hope it gets better for leon me too Ouch. Ouch. Blood starts bubbling out the paper cut I just gave myself. Huh? What the hell? I've never had a paper cut bleed this much on me. Where do we keep the bandages? The bathroom? I checked the bathroom, but I don't find any in the cabinet behind the mirror. I guess I can ask my brother. I make my way to his room, but the door is closed. Uh huh? Oh, really? Is he talking with someone <laughs> that's a relief hey. what the what the hell was that who's in there with him i think he's on the phone i put my hand on the doorknob i wouldn't do that if i were you backwards landing into the other wall of the hallway big bro uh, my brother walks out his room with a concerned look on his face what are you doing in there are you okay no my eyes search toward search through the room behind him huh? i don't see anyone anyone else in there big bro were were you talking with someone no yes you were yes you were don't lie to huh? me is something wrong um what are you doing here what big bro what i um excuse me i knew there was a reason i should be scared of you why because why are you looking at me like that i feel a chill as he acts that the warmth completely gone from his eyes i uh forgot where we keep the medical supplies I gave myself a paper cut. Huh? Huh? I hold up my finger and he leans in and take a closer look. 
Wow, that's a paper cut? You're bleeding so much. Sure. Yeah, hold on. I've got some bandages in my room. Wait here. He disappears back into his room, leaving me standing in the dark darkness of the hallway, frozen in both confusion and fear. What the fuck is going on? He returns before I can gather my thoughts. And is this because is this is all because I went into your room? Like, bro. Oh my gosh. See, he knew I went in to, went in there, and he thinks I was trying to spy on him. He returns before I can gather my thoughts and peels a bandage wrapping around my finger and give me a bright smile. <laughs> there you go, big bro. Be more careful now, okay? I know you find out I got his paper cut because of you, and you trying to do some blood magic on me to figure out if I'm your brother or not or something. Hmm. Okay. He gives me another instant grin and returns to his room, closing the door behind him. Huh? Maybe I'm just imagining things. All right. The game is over. Things should be back to normal. Aww. What the hell am I say saying? I still see the UI. I frown as I feel a familiar buzz in my pocket and pull out my phone. What is it, Vince or Leon? <laughs> What's up, big bro? No. Uh, nothing. I sure have been getting a lot of spam calls recently. Uh -huh. Spam calls? Yeah, they come from unknown from an unknown number, so I just ignore them. It's usually not a problem, but I'm getting tired of receiving the Milton class. It always catches me by surprise. Can't you just turn off your phone in class? I, I can, but I look at the phone as it buzzes in my hand. Vincent's name on the screen as I hit the ignore button. Yeah, I should. It's better to ignore both of them completely. Anyways, I'm gonna go in the head to my next class in a bit, uh, to my next class a bit early. I have a quiz. Sure. sure, see you later, big girl. I leave them with a smile. The noise is heavily muffled once I'm able to step out without a hassle. I can even hear my own footsteps as I walk down the hall. I stop and look out the window to see a clear and sunny morning. It's lonely. The game's over and I survived. But there's nothing to distract me from the fact that I'm pointlessly walking in someone else's shoes. I continue down the hall. It's him, right? Bro. Kidnapper? Again? I look around me but don't see anyone. Looks like the one in the photo. Ah! Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck, I need to get out of here. I bolt towards the staircase. Hey, get back here. Y'all trying to kidnap me at school? I barely make it to the stairwell when I feel someone tug on my arm, pulling me back into the hallway. Let go. What? I feel a pain on my neck and then... Why is he unconscious? It's a school. We didn't want him calling for help and making a bigger scene. Be glad we listened to your request anyways. This is ridiculous. Ow. Shut up, will you? He'll wake momentarily. Look, he's stirring now. Fine. Here's your payment. Get out of here. Vincent, you about to piss me off. Because you, you know what you could have done? I don't know, you're rich. You could have just left the facility you was at and then came to see me. But no, you gotta see. No. -uh. Vince got me all the way messed up. I would never choose you. Ever. What the? Are you serious? I wake to find myself sitting across from Vincent at a table in a garden. Everything is well manicured, the grass and shrubs and healthy green, despite being February. Heat lamps are placed at the four corners around the table, keeping both of us warm in the chilly air. Hmm. Hey, want something to drink? No, I definitely don't want anything to drink from you. He nudges at a pretty white teapot as he says this. I don't miss the trouble in his fingers. Where do I even start? Don't blow up on me yet. I want some dessert to go with the tea, or maybe you want coffee instead? So you, you know this is wrong. How about a mimosa? 
Oops, wait. Right, you're underage, I remember. You're underage. See? I'm doing... No, no, you're not doing better. Y no. What part of this is doing better? You hire someone to kidnap me? Again? He flinches and averts his eyes. Mm -hmm. You weren't picking up my calls. Aww. You're not supposed to call me while in, while in therapy. Besides, didn't you say it's up to me to decide whether I want to come see you? Well, yeah, but... Huh? Also, where is this place? Is this really where you're getting therapy? <laughs> yeah, it's not the best, but it's the closest. Vincent, what did you bring me all the way out here for? Hmm. I know you're probably angry with me right now. Probably. You might even hate me. He squirms to his seat and averts his eyes, but his fingers continue to pull at the tips of his hair. I've never seen him so angsty, but I was wondering... If when I get better, will you be friends with me again? Like, start over. <sighs> Not like this, bro. I shake my head. We had nothing in common to start with. What was there to be friends for? No. I'm sorry, Vincent. I don't. Mm -hmm. I quickly avert my eyes, but even so, I don't miss the way he wilts. I'm sorry, I know it's not fair, but I have to put myself first, and I can't just forget everything he's done. <laughs> right, don't be sitting here crying in front of me. Dang. I understand. You do? <laughs> yeah, I've done some things that can't be taken back. It's not really a matter of starting over. It's about making amends. I've been working hard this past week, and I'll keep going. For you. Our conversation doesn't last much longer after that. Vince's arranges for a limo to take me back home. I can't be mad at him. I understand why he's so desperate to contact me and ask me that. Anxiously waiting, <sighs> anxiously wanting someone to return your feelings to you to forgive you and allow you back into their life. I hope it gets better for Vincent than it did for me. <sighs> the limo stops in front of my home and I step out. The driver leaves without a word. As I close the hospital, I mean, as I close, as close as the hospital, Vincent was staying in, it was, it's still pretty far away. The sky is dark by the time I return home, and the lights on our floor are already on. Huh? My brother's already home? He didn't s he didn't message me anything. I walk up to the door while fumbling through my ring of keys to get the right one. Uh. It's no use. I can't stop thinking about it. I drop the keys. R Rime? Uh. It's fine. It's not like you have to decide now. Their voices are muffled, and I'm. And if I relied on my ears, I certainly wouldn't have heard them. I don't want to make it seem like I'm eavesdropping, so I'm just gonna go in. I screwed this. I need to save my younger brother from Rime. Whoa! No! Little bro! Why did you just bust in like that? See, I should have stayed inside. Stayed outside. Both of them turn to look at me. Mm -hmm. uh, hello. Rimei wipes at her eyes and looks at me, expression unreadable. Hey! Big bro, welcome home. Um... Uh, sorry, we're in the middle of... Mm. It's fine, I'll get going. Rimei. Yeah, you should go. Wow. That was rude. Big bro. Mm. Thanks for talking with me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey! You're coming back tomorrow? Uh, Shut up! Dang. No, we have class together. Oh. Rayman gathers her things and leaves. 
I quickly locked the door behind her. Uh-huh. What the hell? Why did you do that? Yeah, I didn't think that's what he was gonna do. Dang. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Me? It's roommate. Why'd you let her in the house? Oh, uh, we had something to talk about? What's your problem? He trails off and averts his eyes. My problem is that she's... She's... What's a polite way to put this? She's dangerous, okay? You should stay away from her. How's she any more dangerous than the others? Oh, the others? Is he talking about the other yandere's? Huh? What, huh? How would he know they're dangerous? I never told him about how scary those two were. Did you have to? I don't think you had to say anything explicitly. I think it's pretty clear. No way! Ah, whatever. I've got some homework to do. He stumps into his room, leaving me confused in the living room. I I said I wasn't finna load or nothing, but now I am, because that just annoyed me. Now I'm going to save right here. Now if the same thing kinda happens, no, I'm just gonna stay outside. I don't wanna barge in into their conversation. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna be like slamming the door open and be like, oh my gosh, get out, basically. I'm like, geez. Hmm. But why is Rimei here at all? Maybe I can find out what she's looking for if I wait and listen for a bit. It makes me sick. I don't care what it takes, I have to do this. Rimei, hmm. why are you so against this? Aren't you the one who started everything? Huh? I don't hear anything else. Big bro. How long are you gonna be out there, big bro? Whoa. Ah! Sorry, I spaced out. Did you hear me? Um... Something like that. Come in already. Okay, I seem like that was way better than the other one. So my eyes drift nervously to Rime. Hmm. Um, what's she doing here? Oh, we were just talking. Mm. I'll get going. Rime. Yeah, you should go. Big bro. Mm. Thanks for talking with me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. You're coming back tomorrow? Okay, uh. that's the same. I think that's kind of fine. I think that was better than him busting in. Honestly. That was strange. Come to think of it, Rime was originally one of the game's love interests, and now she's the only one left. Aww. Maybe I can't relax yet. I need to keep my guard up in case she's planning something. The bell suddenly rings in the middle of math class, waking me up from an uncomfortable nap near the back of the room. Was there a fire drill scheduled for today? Whatever, everyone get your jackets and head out. As I get out of class, students start chattering as they pile out of, out of class. I let out a yawn and follow them. The street is filled with numerous blue shadows. How many students attend the school? I knew it had a huge student population, but I shake my head. Well, if there are that many students here, the teacher won't care if I disappear for a few seconds, right? Where are you going? Seeing the teacher occupied with gossiping with another teacher, I slip into one of the, one of the delis around the school. Okay. Finally, a good lunch. I quickly give my order, then move to the dining corner to wait. And shit. <laughs> the Leon? Oh. Oh, he, ch <laughs> he chokes on a bite of his sandwich and chugs down a, my bad, I'm sitting here moving and shaking my desk, and chugs down a bottle of water. Uh, hey, what are you doing here? D do you want something to eat? I'll, I'll treat you. I already ordered. As if on cue, the deli employee brings a plate of food over. Sitting together? No. No. The employee places the plate down <laughs> on the seat opposite Leon, opposite Leon, and leaves. 
Okay, rude. I don't know. Let's eat together. Like we used to. I look around the store, spotting a couple employees and at least one other customer. If Leon tries to kill me, how long would it take for the police and ambulance to come? I'm not going to hurt you. I wasn't... Well, I was. Yeah, you definitely were. I never thought you of all people would be scared of me too. Well, what did you expect, Leon? Please eat with me. I'm going to eat with him. I'm sorry. I'm going to. I hope this doesn't lead to a bad end. I'm going to save right here just in case. That was the last time I'm going back. Okay. When I did a remake and brother. I am going to eat with him. I let out his exasperated sigh and sit down. Across from me, Leon's eyes light up. I hope I'm not making a mistake. I probably am. I probably am. So what are you doing here? I miss seeing here. I wasn't just here to see you, you know? I miss school too. No. I'm pretty sure you still shouldn't be here. You're right, I did sneak out. Oh my gosh, I resist the urge to, <laughs> to roll my eyes and pick up my sandwich and take a bite instead. Thanks for eating with me. I've missed this. Huh? You mentioned like we used to. What do you mean? Oh. You forgot? Hey. Oh crap, I spoke without thinking. Uh, I'm not mad. I mean, it's been a long time, man. <laughs> I just never thought you'd become so scared of me. After all, back then, you were the only one who wasn't afraid of me. Oh. Oh. No matter how angry I got, no matter how violent, even when I hurt you, you still came back to my side. Okay, now that's a little bit toxic, but... <laughs> I guess I took that for granted. Yeah. Yeah, think about that. You did take it for granted. Do better. I promise you I wouldn't be violent and hurt others as long as you're by my side. That Don't make promises, people. To anyone who's watching this, don't you ever make a promise to nobody. Nobody. Ever. The things are basically soul contracts. Don't you dare make no doggone promises. You make uh, equal transactions, or you say I'm either going to do it or I won't. Or like a covenant. Like by equal transaction, I mean like that's a covenant. Like you basically both agree to do whatever. That's not a promise. Let you yes be yes and you no be no. And if you don't know, say I don't know or maybe. Don't you dare promise nobody nothing. I'm dead serious. But I broke that promise, so it only makes sense that I should stay away from you. I'm sorry. Oh. But I promise this will be the last time you see me until I get better. Liar. You're lying. I don't believe you, Leon. <laughs> I don't believe him. You know what? But he's so cute, though. I won't believe him, even though I think he's lying. <laughs> I'll take this seriously from now on. You were supposed to take this seriously from the beginning. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry about that, too. We chat lightly as I finish eating. I'm still not completely sure I understand what happened between Leon and the protagonist in the past, but I'm able to piece together a few things. They didn't always get along. It was the protagonist who first cleaned to Leon, and Leon later got attached and fell in love with the protagonist. But I wonder why the main character was so desperate to stay with a violent kid like Leon. To my surprise, the students were all still milling outside the school. Fire trucks have driven through the crowd of people and this red light is turning the blue shadows around me into eerie purple. Why are we still waiting out here? Don't know, I guess there was a real fire. Ah! Seriously? I told you I don't know, but we've never had to wait so long outside for a fire drill. Actual fire trucks don't usually come for a drill. I think we're getting an early dismissal. Huh? Early 
dismissal? Well, that's good news. Less time I have to spend in school, the better. Aww. Oh, but I left my books in the classroom. Maybe I can sneak back in? Bro, what? As I weave my way through the crowd to a less populated area, I spot a familiar shade of pink. Rime. Thankfully, she's still a good distance away talking to some blue blobs. I hurry away to avoid being detected by her. Well, you just said her name, bro. <gasps> what happened to his eye? I hear the front door open and jump out my seat. L little bro, welcome back. R Rime? Mm. Are you sure you don't want this? <coughs> little bro, what happened to you? I rush over and grab his shoulders, trying to peer under his bags to see his eye, but for sure, his left eye is wrapped tightly under layers of white bandages. What happened to your eye? Don't go accusing her, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Uh. What the hell did you do? I didn't. She curls her fingers into fists, but I don't miss the streak, streaks of dry blood on her fingernails. Excuse me? Did you hurt my brother? Why are you here? Get out! Big bro! Big bro, stop! He steps out from behind me and walks up to Rime. I got into an accident during biology lab today. Rime is the one who helped me out of a dangerous situation. Huh? <laughs> really? Oh, sorry. Uh... Rime, you should probably go home. Mm. Good night. She speaks with finality and leaves the apartment. That's so mean, cause I mean, I know you are stuck on your version of her that you played, but she's actually been a, like you said, she, she's been the nicest person to you. <laughs> she knew, she's been the nicest person to you, besides your brother. So I don't know, stop being so, Are you really okay? What happened? How bad is your injury? Um... It's nothing. It really looks much worse than it is. Then let me see then. Unwrap it. And let me see. How did you accidentally nick yourself with a, with a scalpel? That doesn't even make any sense. On your eye? <laughs> In the eye? No, just nearby. Again, how'd you even do that? That makes no sense. What was you doing? Sitting here holding it by your face? Rime was nearby and helped stop the bleeding. Whew. I see. That's a relief then. Um, big bro? Hmm? Uh... About Rime, you shouldn't. Actually, never mind. I'm going to my room to rest. Okay, let me know if you need anything. I will. And uh, I know Rime helped you out this time, but you should stop hanging out with her. Shut up! She's bad news. Sure. Noted. He disappears into his room and I love, and I'm left with a heavy weight on my conscience. I know we're not really brothers, but I've gotten attached to him over the past few weeks. But why does it feel like we're drifting apart now? Because you keep being dumb. That's everything that we missed. An audible sigh sweeps across the class. Aww. Of course, our teachers will hold extra lessons after school to make up for the missed class during the fire drill. At least this time, I'm not alone. As the other students chat and gather their things to leave, I check my phone. Are you done with makeup classes? I texted my brother. Yeah, I left an hour ago. And he didn't tell me? Ah. Uh, Right, it's not as though he has to, but it really does feel like we've been talking less nowadays. Or maybe I just have no one left to talk to. 
Yeah, probably that. Because y'all didn't interact that much. It was really most of Vincent and Leon all up in your face. I can't help but look at all the blue shadows chatting with each other. Transmigration really doesn't mean Jack if you don't change yourself. I end up leaving without saying a word to anyone. So, I came over here subconsciously. Aww. Well, it's not like I can drink. Huh? Hmm? I see a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I see a familiar face staring at me through the bar window. Why are you at the bar, Vincent? Shit. I bought... I bolt down the street as I hear Vincent yelling, oh my gosh, behind me. Wait. <laughs> Hell no. Look at him. Right behind you. <laughs> I lean against the signpost to catch my breath. Mm -hmm. What the hell? You run so fast. Aww. At this point, that's the only defense I've got. Hmm. You don't need to defend yourself against... Uh, since we're here, want to have dinner with me? No. no. You can't be serious. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm here alone today. I'm really not sure if that brings any relief. You can pick the place to eat. I just want to spend some time with you. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm so sorry, I'm leaving. I shake my head. You're not supposed to meet with me. Hmm. It's not like I planned to. I just happened to see you. Yeah, I know, but like, you still ran after me. Didn't let that be it. I thought I made that clear last time. He takes a step back, a forced smile on his face. I feel kind of bad, but... I don't want to play in this man's face. And me eating dinner with him and stuff would technically kind of be playing in his face. Because I don't want to be with him. <laughs> like, at all. You know? I don't even want to be friends with him, to be honest. Because you just can't start a friendship off with limerence or infatuation like that. Because it just it doesn't ever end on a necessarily good note. You're, you're right. You're right. Have a good night. He disappears into the into the crowd before I can say a word, and after a moment of contemplation, I leave too. I already said no. There's no point in being wishy-washy about this anymore. I'm home. I'm greeted by a, a silent house. Huh? I thought my brother left school before I did. Little bro? I walk through the rooms of the house, but to find no sign of anyone. Like, has he been on to me? He thinks I'm not his brother or something. Finally, I return to my room and text my brother a message asking where he is. I'm out with John. I'll be back late tonight. Huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, nothing I can do about that. I tell him to be safe and crawl into bed. Hmm. I let all yawn. As my mother, oh, <laughs> as my morning classes finish up, at least it's Friday again. Huh? Why am I still here? Since I don't have any yandere's on my tail anymore, assuming they don't make any more surprise visits, I should consider my plans for the future. Hmm. Perhaps I should do some research. It's been nearly a, bump, a month, and I still don't know my own name. But Mariah's outfit. That's so cute. Look at those sleeves. Like, that's so nice. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold up. John kind of eating too in his outfit. Look at that. Look at that jacket. And necklace. <laughs> hey guys. Yo. Since Leon isn't around to hound me during lunchtime, I've worn my way into my brother's group of friends. It feels weird, even in this transmigrated setting, because what's a senior doing with a bunch of freshmen? Hey, it happens a lot. But strangely, 
All my classmates don't talk to me unless they need something, like a pen or an eraser. Oh, no. Does protagonists really have no friends other than Leon? I just thought the original game didn't show the protagonist's other relationships in order to focus on the love interest, but to think he actually be friendless. Aww. That's a little sad. What's a little sad? <laughs> oh, um, nothing. By the way, where's my brother? I think he's doing some work for the gymnastics team. Gymnastics? Whatever, here's my chance. Hey, can you guys tell me what an English assignment I got? You're asking some freshman to help you with an English assignment? <laughs> sure, what do you need? It's a test to see how well people know me. Oh, okay. That's different, alright. Never mind. Let me get off your case. <laughs> tell me everything you guys know about me. Oh, that's pretty simple. I take out a notepad and pretend to take notes. You have a younger brother. You're a senior in high school. You got second highest grades in your last year your last semester. Oh yeah, Rime beat you by just a hair. It's too bad for you. She just that she jumped grades. You're five foot seven. What? Point nine five. What? Couldn't you just round that up then? Proof that I know a lot about you, right? You love cooking new recipes. Aww. This is just useless information I already know. Your favorite color is pink? No. Not anymore. Um. <laughs> How about my name? Hmm? Isn't that obvious though? It doesn't matter if it's obvious. Your name is obviously just your name. Why are they being so stubborn? Hey! Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Uh! Whoa. I flinched from my brother's sudden appearance behind me and dropped my notebook. He picks it up for me before I can respond. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Hi, we're helping your brother out with his English homework. Uh, you're done with training? We weren't training today, just an in inventory check. How's your eye? Fine. Anyways, what's this? Notes on MC. What does that mean? I snatched a notebook back from him. I left the book for my next class in my locker. Bye. Oh my gosh. I don't want to stick around and explain this. If he didn't already know I wasn't his brother, he knows now. I end up running to my locker after all. Huh? Huh? Rime? Rime turns to me, startled as she steps away from an open locker. Why are the lockers in a classroom? That's not your locker. Are you okay? Huh? Isn't that my brother's locker? Right, the one directly in the, underneath mine. I've never seen Rime here doing this missile. During this missile. I don't think her locker is in this room. Why are you rifling to my brother's locker? Uh. Please overlook this. Uh, even if I do, you're still going through his stuff? Mm. Can you let me look through his locker? I'll do whatever you want. Huh? Huh? What does he have in there that she's so desperate for? Hmm. But come to think of it, maybe I can get some answers out of Rime. She's smart, she's scary, she's not unwilling to do illegal things. Ask for answers? Answers for what? Now I'm scared. What answers are you asking for? I don't want to tell on her to be honest. Cause I think telling her no would be telling on her, right? I am actually might have to go back to this one because I, I don't know what this means. Yeah, she might be a good bit. To top it all off, she isn't the type to ask questions and gossip. Actually, I'll ignore this if you help me out with something. Okay. What is it? Hmm. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but... Can you tell me about myself? Things like my family situation. Why would she even know all that? I don't think she would know any of that, to be honest. What kind of person I am. 
was before February. Hmm? Why? I think I have selective amnesia. Why would you tell her that? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> no, no, don't blush at me. We're not going down that route. Valentine's Day is over. I wonder. Shouldn't you go to the doctor then? I want to try to solve this on my own first. Hmm. Oh, this was a terrible idea. I, I don't, oh gosh. I don't think this is a good idea at all because I didn't think he's going to tell her that he had amnesia. So can you do that for me? I can't, but I don't know how that much. We didn't talk much before February. You can find out more, right? You're good at looking things up. I am. I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at Googling, but I'll see what I can find. That's all I need. Mm. I think I've seen your father once. Huh? During parent-teacher conference last year, we were in math class together. Your parents never attend, so I thought it was odd that you were in a room with a man. Huh? So my parents actually exist? I guess they do contact my brother and meet through text messages. I didn't see him very well, but I thought you didn't look very alike. What did he look like? Fancy gentleman. He reminded me of a lion. Huh? No, that's Vince's uncle. That's Vince's uncle. No, that's weird. Wait, what's happening? I swear she's talking about Vince's uncle. A lion? Uh, Is that good enough? Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I'll try to find out more for you on Monday, but if you can't find anything, I won't do more. But if I can't find anything, I won't do more. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to prolong deal with her anyways. She kneels back down and opens my brother's locker, rifling through it for a moment before pulling out a thin black book. Huh? That looks familiar. Thank you. Mm. And I hope you'll get your memory back. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. She leaves the room, and I stand a little dazed by my, by my locker, trying to digest this new information. Uh-huh. Big bro? L little bro? How? <laughs> oh, I'm screwing up bad, ain't I? How long have you been there? I, I just got here, why? The, nothing. Rime just left, so... Rime? What was she doing here? Why would you even say that? Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Crap. He steps around me and sees his open locker. Immediately, he drops to the ground to check his locker. He shifts around several books, roughly before standing. No way! What the hell? Did she take it? What? What are you talking about? You let her take it? take it no. i didn't oh she might still take it i don't know if she still takes it and i don't say anything and i'm just gonna go back to that decision anyway uh, no i don't trust you what are you doing my brother's stuff mm. I, please i really need it what do you need mm. oh oh whoa whoa girl whoa Oh, calm down now. You, you take it then. I'll kill you for it if I have to. Whoa. I jumped back from her. Hey, no killing now. But instead of attempting to end my life, she just dives back into the locker, quickly rummaging through it and coming out with his thin black book. No! Rime, stop. I reach out to grab the book from her, but she pulls away, causing me to slam into the lockers as she tries to sneak around me to the door. Mm. I grab her wrist, stopping her in her tracks as she flinches in pain. Huh, maybe this protagonist isn't the weakest in the game after all. Uh. She drops a book and it sprawls out on a random page, angry red ink scribbled across the lines, accompanied by a variety of circles, triangles, and weird symbols. 
wait, that's a... Ow! A throbbing pain assaults my forehead and I hold my head in, a, in my free hand. Big bro? Uh, What's happening? Uh -huh. Rime? His eye drifts to the open book on the floor and his mouth drops open. With both of us dazed and shocked, Rime takes this chance to pull herself out of my grip and bends down to grab the book and run past my brother out the door. Uh huh. Rime? Uh -huh. Shit, little bro, she took something from your locker. A black book with red writing. No way! You looked at it? Hmm. Villa just fell in front of us. Smack, whoa! Ah! Ow! I'm slammed against the locker. Whoa! <laughs> I tried to help you this time. I'm slammed against the locker, my younger brother holding me by the collar and glaring at me. What the hell? He's so small. Where'd all this strength come from? Why did you look at it? You're not supposed to see that. Ow, little bro, let go of me. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. No. Really, I didn't see anything. He's still glaring at me with his eyes wide, but his grip on my collar loosens. No way! It was open, and you didn't see? I didn't. Rime grabbed it before I could read anything. Rime. He finally lets go of me and steps back. Shit, right, she took it. I need to get it back. He dashes... Okay, I'd rather he press me for reading it or whatever than press me for letting Rime take it. Because that did feel kind of slimy, me saying like, okay, I'll let you take my brother's book if you do this thing for me. That felt kind of slimy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. He dashes to the doorway and stops himself with one hand against the door frame. I'll talk to you about this later. He doesn't wait for an answer from me and before running before running down the hall, what are they finna do? Duke it out? They finna fight? I lean against the locker to catch my breath as his footsteps fade away. Why did that sound like a threat? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on for real? I'm scared. It's been a few hours since school ended, but my brother still isn't home. Oh, no. I haven't been able to reach him since he ran after Rime. I texted and called a few times, but there's been no response. Sean and Mariah haven't heard from him either, and I don't have Rime's contact information, so I've just been sitting in the living room, anxiously checking my phone. I'm home. Big bro! What are you doing sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. He disappears in the, into the protagonist's room and comes back with a comforter. Gently, he places it over his brother and crashes down to his frown and his sleeping face. <laughs> Look at you, sleeping without a worry. Excuse you? Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> Cause I'm like, what do you mean without a worry? Do I need to be worried? <laughs> I'm sorry for getting mad. It's so mad today. But don't worry. Everything will end soon. Everything will be fine, big bro. Whoa. Sit up on a couch. Where? Hmm. I was the living room. I fell asleep here last night. Oh no! Did my brother ever? Hmm. The comforter pulling around my waist told me he likely did come home. Getting up and walking towards his room tells me I'm right. I can hear some light snoring coming from the other side of the door. With a groan, I stretch and gather the comforter to bring back my own to bring back to my own room. Aww. My neck is gonna hurt for the whole day. afternoon I solved three out of 50 <laughs> problems for my homework Aww. it should be legal to assign this much homework on the weekend or any day I hear something from the living room my brother must finally be up hey little bro finally up <laughs> yeah I slept like a rock hmm. so what happened with remake yesterday I resolved everything with her is she alive? Um, okay. What was that book she done? 
It's resolved. Don't worry about it, big bro. He's pretty adamant on this. I sure to the coffee table where he has a deck of tarot cards laid out. He really is the fool Chuni said. Chuni said? What the heck does that mean? Hey! Anyways, what what have you been up to? I give an exasperated sigh. Been doing homework all morning. <laughs> I've never seen you struggle so hard with school before. Looks like the days of being a prodigy are over. <laughs> Why is that funny to you? you? Want to do something else? Oh, if he's gonna try to, I don't know, he's gonna try to do something strange to me. Not in a weird way, but like in like a cult way. <laughs> yeah, I definitely get break. Oh, okay. He's asking me what I want to do. Okay, what do you want to do? I'm scared. Play a game? He might freak me out with a tarot reading. Alright, tell me a tarot reading. How about you give me a tarot reading? Even though that's not a freaking game. I mean, it can, you, can, you can treat it as a game. I mean, wasn't tarot originally like a game anyway? Sure! Okay, sure. I don't think this is a good idea though. I think it's just gonna leave us with a very dreary feeling. Probably should click game, but it is what it is. He motions for me to sit across him, across from him at the coffee table and shuffles a deck of cards. All right, ask the cards a question. Huh? The cards, not you? No way! Of course not, you're asking the universe, not me. The universe? <laughs> I can't believe he believes in these cheesy things. Whatever, I'll play along. Well, I pass my exam next week. Take this seriously. I told you before, you need to ask broad questions. Bruh, if you can't answer a specific question, you ain't that good at it. That's why you're trying to uh, disguise it as, oh, ask the universe, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Besides, even I know the answer to that one. Yes. Aww. Maybe if I was your actual brother, then I'd pass with flying colors, but I'm not. All right. I'm feeling a bit lost right now. How can I get back um, to the person that was before? He looks at me curiously, but doesn't comment. Sure. Okay. He finished shuffling and places the deck between us. Pick five cards. Pick five cards? What kind of tarot are you doing? <laughs> this really is like a card game. I sure I could just pull out the top five. The Magician Upside Down. Mm. The Hermit. Justice, justice Reverse. He furrows his eyebrows and frowns and keeps going. <laughs> Ten of Wands Reversed. Four of Swords. That's... I know that's Rest. Huh? Okay, so what does all that mean? You got a lot of reversals, bro. Something good, right? I didn't get the Death card or the Hangman. That don't mean nothing. Death doesn't necessarily mean bad. That's just like transformation. And the Hangman is like different from a perspective. So... Uh. Neither of those necessarily mean bad things. Well... This first one, the upside down magician, means there's some manipulation going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Nothing. Keep going. That's not a comment on me lying to everyone, right? I think it has more to do with um the whole transmigration thing. Well, manipulation and lying are two different things, I think. Uh, manipulation often includes lying or leaving out details and whatever. The Hermit, um, that's like isolation or whatever. So to get through your problem, you need to do some soul searching. Isolation. Huh? That can be anything. Well, it's not like the cards or I can actually give an exact answer. Then what's the point? <laughs> do you actually want a reading or not? Oh, yeah, go on. Rose's eyes, but continues. 
this card is the lesson you should learn. Oh, the lesson you should learn? Okay, okay, so it's like a, a spread, okay. Justice, uh, justice in reverse. I don't I actually don't know what that means. Okay, yeah, that makes sense on fairness design. Cause sometimes reverse, the reverse is like the opposite of it upright. Sometimes it's just, it's not necessarily the opposite. It's not always negative. I'm not sure what that means for you. I thought you knew how to read cards. Hey, I'm still learning. Yeah, he's still learning. <laughs> ten of wands. Ten of wands means you won't have to carry all the burden anymore. That's so wonderful. Well, is it wonderful? <laughs> Actually, since you know you were saying it's gonna be all over, what does that mean? Really, isn't that a really good thing? Probably. It's really up to your own interpretation. Huh? That's rather vague, don't you think? Uh... Yes, that's the point. Then what's the point of a reading? Anyways, this last card is about what's to come. Ooh, so the future. He rolls his eyes as he taps on the last card. We finally get out of here. We finally have a peace of mind. <laughs> this means you can look forward to rest and relaxation. Huh? Really? Yeah, and death. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just kidding. With two out of the three yandere's, with two out of three yandere's out of my hair, that makes sense. That's great, then. Uh huh? Huh? Yeah, you can't misinterpret that one. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for the reading. No problem. That was pretty fun, after all. Uh huh? After all? No. Well, it's not like silly cards like these can actually tell the future. It's not about them necessarily telling the future. It's basically highlighting or confirming things that you most likely already know or have an idea of. It's not necessarily fortune telling, if that makes sense. Like all the information that you need to know is already around you or existing. Um, it's already there. You already have it. And it's like, you just have a disconnect between you and like your higher consciousness. So it's like you're basically just pulling on the energy that is already known. Things that have basically kind of, you know what, I'm talking too much. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> but I enjoyed that more than I thought. What do you mean? Huh? I mean, wait, do you actually believe in this stuff? Why would he be doing it if he didn't? Uh... Ugh, if you don't believe and believe, why did I bother giving you a reading? Oh, come on. It's just a difference of opinion. I'm thankful for the reading. It did put some words, some of my worries to rest. It certainly does make me feel better. See, I knew I should have played a game. Like a good luck charm. It likely won't give me good luck, but it'll give me some peace of mind. He rolls his eyes and he gathers his cards, putting them back in the decorated box. Whatever, I'm gonna go work on homework. He leaves before I can say anything. He seems pretty oh. pissed off. <laughs> Maybe I should apologize. Uh, I'll consider it tomorrow. So the sun shines on another day. Pretty nice weather for February. Today's the last day of February. Should I just accept this as my life from now on? Big bro, ready to go yet? Huh? Good morning. Uh, go where? Uh -huh. What? You forgot? Uh, I guess? I guess it makes sense. February is a short month. It's the last day of the month. Huh? And? Are we're going okay? to go hang out. We agreed that on the last day of the month, we're going to go do something together. Whatever it is. Huh? Oh, right, right. Huh? Some sort of brotherly bonding exercise. <laughs> so hurry up and get ready. We sure are excited. No way. I am not. There's just a new game I want to get. And a new item from that dessert shop I wanted to try. Well, he really is excited for this. Alright, got it, got it. <laughs> just give me a second. Hmm, hurry up. Hey! Come on, big bro, hurry up. 
Come in, come in. I catch up with him at the corner of the street. Do I have to? Little bro, is this really necessary? Uh huh? Huh? Hmm. We just ate. Is there any need to run to a dessert place? No. It's not like the dessert will grow legs and run. Bro, is he finna press me again? No way! I just want to do as much as I can today. Huh? What do you mean? Um... I have a lot of work coming up, so I want to have fun today. No. You're in high school. What sort of work would you would prevent you from going to eat dessert? You can do that after school. Seriously, can't this wait until tomorrow? Why are you being so pissy? Like, why are you being like this? Just go along with it, bro. No, we can't. No way. Damn it, big bro. I'm just asking for one day. Can't you give that to me? Yeah. What are you getting so riled up for? You act like I had to spend time with you today. Now you're just gonna be getting disrespectful. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say anything like that. Aww. Stop being so demanding. Sheesh, what's gotten into you? Uh -huh. Spending time with me is demanding now? Hey. What? No. That's putting words into my mouth. And why you can't just go to the dessert place with him without putting, give him so much pushback? Then what are you complaining for? I did all the work to plan everything. Yeah. Why would you plan everything? I thought we were just hanging out. People plan things to hang out? Um, I just thought I'd do it for you for once. No. Well, you didn't need to. Why are we arguing? What are we fighting for? Hmm. Uh, I'm getting too agitated. Looking around, I spot a food truck selling cupcakes, donuts, and other breakfast sweets. I'm going to get a donut. Do you want anything? No way! A donut? But we're going to get dessert. No, you are. I just want a donut. He frowns at me but doesn't say anything and turns away. Okay, maybe I'm just being petty. Yeah, you are being petty. But I need some excuse to get away from him and have a breather. So do you want anything? No! He helps and leans against the wall of the building. I'll wait here. I roll my eyes and walk off the sidewalk. The food truck is in the middle of the street. Sure, it's a big road, but I don't see the point of walking all the way to the crosswalk. Huh? Huh? Down the street, at the cross rock, the light's red. Red like his hair fluttering in the wind. Even from this distance, I can see the flicker of his earring reflecting the sun, swinging as he walks. The person beside him smiles down at him, hands in his pocket despite wanting to wrap him into a hug. No way. If only that day hadn't happened. Huh? Wasn't that my wish? Huh? That's me. <coughs> what are you dead? You got isekai into a, a the yandere a visual novel? The blare of a car horn. Car horn takes me out of my stupor all his including his turn towards me including what's my wait i'm confused the truck is still a short distance away i can step back and it'll run into the crowd crossing the road and then one of two things will happen either he'll get injured or i will we'll go to the hospital but the outcome is the same he'll still hate me It's that day. It's all because of February 28th. Let me change it. That's simple, but I'll need something in return. Anything. I'll do anything. All right, then. Big bro. People are starting to talk, crowding around and screaming. He has to show people out the way to make it to his brother. <laughs> Did I just get a bad end?
Whoa. Everyone I knew here hated me. They would talk behind my back, dig up my past and use it against me. I know I'm no saint. There were so many things I shouldn't have done, but I'm trying to be better. As my therapist said, I can't control how they feel about me. I can control how I feel. What a bunch of bullshit. That's probably why I jumped head first into bad habits when he started working here. Heating in the bathroom? This isn't a coming-of-age comedy movie. Is something wrong with your head? Seriously, this is where people go sh go to shit. I wasn't eating here. I just brought my mug in while I washed my hands. But it's lunchtime. Why aren't you with everyone, everyone else? And by the way, I haven't learned your name. I don't think the guy who gave me a tour introduced me to you. But we sit in the cubicles next to each other, so we're on the same team, aren't we? Yeah. In that case, let's go out, get out of here and go to a bar or something. Huh? It's my first day. I wanted to go celebrate. So you in or not? There was finally someone who didn't treat me like air. Like a puddle of days after a rainstorm. After a rainstorm. So, of course, I stuck to him like glue. Even when the others went to warn him, he was still willing to spend time with me. Even if he was planning something horrible, I would have still stayed by his side from beginning to end. Why wasn't I the first choice? What more should I have done? The last day of February, February 28th. Oh, you played it? What'd you think of it? I liked it a lot. But really, I like anything you recommend. Great, so it's so nice to find someone who else who likes visual novels. I'm not good at anything that requires dexterity. Uh, yeah, that word. <sighs> so you're just saying that visual novels are easy. Well, it's much more forgiving, so I like it better. Hmm, fine, I'll accept that answer. Does he like visual novels that much? Well, it doesn't matter if he likes it, I'll like it too. Because it means I can spend more time with him. So, why was that time taken from me? Ugh! I begged for you to be saved, no matter the cost, no matter what would happen afterwards. I didn't account for you falling in love with someone else. Huh? Isn't it time for you to check out already? You've been here for over a week. Uh, my wounds don't magically heal themselves. But you look worse than you did yesterday. How's that possible? You're imagining things. Don't worry so much. Anyways, it's time for my checkup with Dr. D Dr. Decal. Decal? <laughs> you should go. I can stay. Uh, what? Hey, we're friends and all, but I like to keep my medical history private. Then I'll wait outside until he's done and come back and come back in after no I want you to leave after that I kept I keep getting turned away even though I'm determined to stay determined to disregard his words I still find myself turning away out of a hospital it was like I lost the ability to make my own decisions Yikes. Why do you keep coming here? I want to. We're friends after all. You just decided that on your own. If this is what being friends with you is like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Why? Why can't I see him anymore? Oh, you're just as problematic as these uh, Yandere's. You're just not Yandere. 
Mm. Okay. Every time I walk to the building to see him, my legs turn around automatically. It's like a curse. Or a blessing. A blessing? How? He won't even let me near him. Fine, it's a curse then. A curse? But why would he? All I did was care about him. I'm trying to support him. You, you got obsessed with him, and that's the problem. Why would he do something so horrible to me? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Do you have fun watching from there? Yes. Well, if it's a curse, remove it for me. Is that any way to ask for a favor? Curse or blessing? If it's a gift from him, I can't do anything about it since he'll just put another one on you if I remove it. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, that's on you. There's a number of things I can do for you. It's up to you to define what it is you want. That doctor. If he never met that doctor. It's that day. It's all because of February 28th. Let me change it. Sure. But I'll need something in return. Is everything all right? Where am I? This is the downtown shopping area? Hello? Um, what day is today? Oh my gosh. What? Look out! Uh, hey? Why'd you jump in front of me? I would've been fine. Come on, why'd you do it? I can't do anything about this. Things like life and death, injuries, time, I can't do anything about that. Please, all I can do is hope you'll choose to live. What? So does a coworker like him or not? Please live. Please choose to come back to me. My eyes snap open as I sit up in a bed. In bed. Huh? Huh? I pat myself down across my arms and chest, checking for injuries. I'm alive. I'm me? I'm wearing familiar clothes. I see the right colors on the tip of my hair. Finally, I peek at the full-length mirror by my door. I let go of a breath I didn't realize I was holding. It really is me. <laughs> Damn. I jump back and down onto my pillow and stretch across the bed. I almost missed the damn text box. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I don't miss it at all. I blink my eyes shut. How do I know this? How do I know it wasn't a dream? Maybe it was. I flinch as my alarm rings from my nightstand. Slapping a snooze button, I glare at the time. 9 a.m. on February 29th. Leap day. In that dream, it was February 28th, right? But was I prepping for March 1st? The alarm starts ringing again, and I switch it off as I sit up. Oh yeah, I have plans for today, don't I? I promised I'd spend time with him today, didn't I? I forgot. Did we set a set a tie? It's okay. I'll just surprise him at his apartment. Let's see. Where did I put his spare key again? Hmm. My memories are a bit muddled thanks to that dream. I'm confused. Did I end up getting hit by that truck? Somehow I remember him being hit, myself being hit, and never being hit. 
since I'm here and going to see how I must have never been hit, right? This is the place, isn't it? In this section, like any other, it's a calm Sunday morning. Restaurants are opening for brunch. Families standing at the street corners messaging their friends to meet up. It's so peaceful. Seriously, that dream felt like an eternity. Every time I was in this area, it was hectic. A flutter of white catches my eye. Bro, what the heck is that? Oh. Halfway up a traffic light, a white ribbon is tied around a pole. Its edges are frayed, the cheap fabric ripped throughout and rarely clinging to, onto the metal. Was that always there? Light changes and the car has come to a stop before the crosswalk. I try not to think about it as I cross the street. I walk into a darkened apartment. Oh good, I made it before him. At this time, he's usually doing next week's grocery shopping. Okay. Half an hour before noon, just in time to avoid the afternoon rush. Competing with housewives for the best produce. I chuckle to myself. Despite how he looks, he's actually very responsible. I know, I'll prepare a cup of tea for him before he gets back. And there should still be some cheesecake left. What is this? Are y'all dating? This is like dating, baby. <laughs> I guess not. But there should still be some cheesecake left. I spend the next half hour tidying things up for him. God knows he doesn't spend enough time organizing his things. Finally, the sound of footsteps approaches the apartment door. Huh? How's my, why's my door unlocked? I bound over to get the door for him. Surely I have to help him with his groceries. Welcome back. I've really missed you. I'm so glad I can spend time with you again. You won't believe it, but I had this crazy dream where I was the protagonist of a visual novel. Okay, like I thought, you are just as problematic as those um, yonder is. All right. So it wasn't a spirit key. You just kind of broke into his apartment, huh? That's what it looks like. But it was so real. You believe me, right? I missed you so much the whole time. Those guys were really persistent, but still, no matter what, I want you. You want me too, right? Wow, I got the good in? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's real crazy. Um, well, I got the good in. That's interesting. I kind of want to keep playing. But I think I'm just kind of going to stop it right here. For now. If you want, you know what, I'm not even going to ask. I'm probably just going to go get the true ending. Because I want to see what take the true ending is. So. I need to see what the heck it, what the heck you need to do to get the true ending. Let me see that first. Because I didn't want to cheat my way to the, to the true end. I wanted to actually get it, but I have to figure that out. If I figure it out. I hope this was very entertaining. I hope it was fun. Nice background noise for you. Informative. Whatever it was for you. I hope it was positive. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.